I also use other materials in the classroom or materials that are available to me to also demonstrate to my students the difference in measurement. This is a wooden block of knob cylinders. There are 10 knob cylinders on, on each of these blocks. With this material, there's always a direct and indirect purpose. The direct purpose is to, to show the students the difference in the dimensions and the difference in weight. The indirect uh, purpose of the materials is to show the children how to pick up a cylinder and how they hold the cylinder. This prepares them for a pencil grip when they're ready to write. So these are our knob cylinders. These knob cylinders, they vary from uh, big to small. So I'm going to take them out of my cylinder block. And they vary from left to right, big to small. And that is how they're learning from big to small. Tactile is important. They are going to touch and feel and see the big cylinder and the small cylinder. So that's how they learn about measurement. Then what we're going to do is now we're going to ask the student to feel the socket with its finger and to see which we're going to mix up the cylinders. And then the students have to find out which cylinder belongs into which socket. Tactile is important because we want them to use their sense. And the most important part of this lesson is we want them to be to use to be fully attentive to the lesson. So we're asking them to put the cylinders in without a sound. By doing this, we are teaching them the most important skill that they need to use for they need to give us their full attention by using all of their senses because they need to concentrate. Notice how the students have to pick up the knob cylinders just like they're going to be holding the pencil when they start writing. So this cylinder block is from the biggest to the smallest. Then we can get another block that is from the shortest to the tallest and that's another way of teaching measurements from the shortest to the tallest. So all these cylinders they're the same in diameter but they vary in height because now they go from short to tall. The same what we did with the cylinder we teach the children how to pick up the cylinder boxes blocks and put them in one at a time into the socket without a sound. So my students will learn to have full concentration when they're doing these knobs with cylinders because first of all, they need to find the size, they need to find the right socket, and most importantly, they have to make sure that they're putting the cylinders back without a sound. That I am teaching them now to use all of their senses. I'm calling their attention to use all of their senses. And that's how students learn, I think, with all of their senses. Thank you.